my chance. Get him on the oh boy. It's a drag race. It's a drag race to the finish. I What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Forza Horizon 4 in my R35 GTR to Liberty Walk body kit, stock rear wing. Don't like the really aggressive Liberty Walk wing, but uh, basically, we are here today to do some road racing. I think the wide body, simple, clean, nothing uh, super, uh, super elegant, but clean and nice. So we're here today to do some road racing because I have unlocked, I believe, the final road race of the road race series, the Colossus, or Colossal, or whatever they want to call it. So we are heading there today, and uh, I believe it's a 12 race series, so this is probably going to be a uh, multiple episode racing series. But we are going to be running this full racing series in our R35, probably, if we can. And, uh, the crackle. And, um... Uh, we are on our Logitech G920, full 900 degrees of rotation, hydraulic handbrake, which we won't be using, and sequential shifter, gas brake, and clutch being used. The Colossus. So I don't know what to expect with this. I don't know if it's like a lot, if it's a like the Goliath race, if it's a long one, but uh, you have arrived at your destination. We're about to find out, and we're hopefully not restricted on cars. Modern supercars is what we are going to be racing, which is what we're in currently. So. This R35 is uh, just under S2. It's 899 S1 class. We are rocking 705 horsepower. And uh, we are on race tires. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, grip pretty well with this car. So uh, little man doing the, the friendly friendly dance. My friend dance. LB Works. Energy Innovations. Nemo Rabbit tooting on the door. Uh, definitely... Been excited to get to this been uh, waiting to uh, record this video racing this series because uh, I'm not sure what to expect I don't know if it's just one race if it's 12 races although it just basically gave me one race I thought it was like a 12 race series but we're just gonna go full send here I'm not sure what to expect I don't know if this is multiple races or just one big race so we will find out though I got who in my hamster right up there Minimooch what's up guys sorry that I'm gonna be wrecking on your driving tires hopefully today so this GTR handles pretty well. Um, gets slight understeer at times, but I think it has to do with the, the somewhat wet weather. I'm gonna try and uh, do this race as clean as possible. I say as possible because, you know, dry guitars do suck. So I have been enjoying doing all the racing here on Horizon 4. Haven't done a lot of uh, drifting other than drift zones. So I've been trying to just work my way through the career Get as many of the career races done, hamster. Excuse me. Ooh! There's another GTR that was, uh, that was a little greasy, but we're good. McKizzle's up there. Got all my friends drive guitars rocking in this event. Ow. I pulled a, I pulled a, um, yeah. Did not break soon enough. I went to go, oh, really? And that's uh, definitely not gonna help my cause. These drive guitars can be uh, slightly rude at times. We are trying to, uh, looks like we're gaining some ground through this section. Trying to be smooth through our turning. Racing is definitely one thing here on Horizon 4 that there's a lot of now, which is definitely very exciting compared to Horizon 3. There's more races, I believe, in 4. A lot of people are saying that they don't like Horizon 4, but I personally do love it. We did take that pass, and we just got to stay smooth. We are only 23% done. Oh, God. I feel like this is like the Goliath race now. Now that I think about it, I feel like this is not a multiple race series. I believe this is just the uh, one race. Oh, shoot. I didn't really look into it before I got into this race. So uh, this is all... Uh, New to me, so if you guys want to make fun of me for not knowing what it was before I got into it, feel free. Getting some Forzathon 
stuff completed. But I guess we chose a halfway decent car for this race. Definitely do love this R35. Simple, elegant, and clean, but uh, also pretty quick. Not stupidly modified, it's not stupid crazy power, and you know, it is just a high-end S1, which I honestly have more fun racing S1 class and A class cars than I do racing stupid, like, really high horsepower builds because I don't know, it's a little more realistic to me other than this where I would hydrolock the car. It's a little more realistic to me to race street cars at a street tune than it would be to race stupidly high powered cars. I mean, if you guys differ and you guys prefer racing like, you know, high end thousand horsepower supercars, you know, that's that's your choice. I just prefer racing a little bit more street cars and having a little more uh, realistic style tunes. Although the GTRs can have crazy amount of power, but they're meant to go in straight lines, really. So, like I said, have been having a lot of fun racing. Oh, jeez. You guys seem to be enjoying these uh, series and race events here on Horizon 4, so we're going to keep bringing them. Torque Drift Beta is over, as you guys all know. It's been over for a while, but the actual full release of Torque Drift is coming out this week, so super excited to that. So look forward to seeing Torque Drift back on the channel here coming very soon as well as some open lobbies and stuff that I'm going to do we are going to top this car out almost the perfect gear ratio then oh that was a very deceptive turn and I feel like we're going to get past now it's a straight up drag race here on the highway but I feel like we have a little bit more pull Trying to stay smooth on my steering to keep my speed up. And I don't have another gear, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I hear a festival. Oh no. Not a good turn. <laughs> Didn't break as fast as I'd hoped I would. I think I am running stock brakes on this car. I don't think I have modified them to race brakes even though they are. But I don't think I changed the pressures. So my braking, uh, I expected it to break a lot better than it did. Like there too. Keep my RPMs up with a little clutch blip. Oh jeez. I must have hit some mud or something. Oh no. This would be bad to lose this race now. The one thing about being on race tires. You hit a little bit of water, puddles, or some mud. And this car goes all over the place. We gotta catch this guy. He's in a newer GTR. We're gonna have to catch him. We should be able to be relieving this entire race. I would feel so mad if we lost it in the last 10% of this race. Trying to find my speed there. There we go. This is my chance. Get him on the, oh boy. It's a drag race. It's a drag race to the finish. I gotta be on my gear shift, on my points. I'm no lift shifting right now. Quick shifts. Ooh, that was, <laughs> that was close. I would have been so mad if I would have lost that. So, that was amazing. wow. I don't think Rebecca could have found a better road racer if she tried. So, tell me, how does it feel to be Horizon's new road racing champion? That's it? I thought it was like a big racing series. I didn't know the last race was just like one race. But uh, well, it was a drag race to the finish. That's for sure. I had to be on my game. That's a lot of cash. We did just unlock an achievement, I believe. Yep, we did. The gauntlet, the Titan, we did get that. So we are gonna go higher. Is that gonna be our highest red racing level? I'm not sure where to go from here. Oh no, we can keep going. We did get a wheel spin, so hopefully it's something good. So, the Colossus is over. Road Racing Champion, you suck. Oh my gosh. Forza. Forza, one below you. Uh, 2005 Turbo 16 would have been nice. But, unfortunately, we didn't get it. So now that I'm done with the Road Racing Series, what's next? 
but there's plenty of road races that I have not done yet. So, I mean, we still have some other races to do in the road racing series. Which we will have to just um, go ahead and accomplish. But while we're here, why don't we do another one? I mean, there's a Forzathon in three minutes. We can do a Forzathon. That sounds like a good idea. We have to change up our cars, though. Do something that's probably a lot faster. No, wrong button. You know what? No. Let's uh, get our waypoint to uh, the Forzathon event. Okay, Andrew. I've updated your route to the Forzathon Live event now. Got 3.8 to get there. Forzathon Lives are definitely a very crazy thing. We'll probably just rock this GTR in there. And, uh... Like I've beaten that already. So, big shout out to all the new EVL members. Welcome to the team or the club. Um, I will be doing some uh, basically main team auditions here soon. If you guys want to be part of the Team Evil Rabbit main team, there's 25 spots. Three of them are already taken by myself, Urgent Recall 24, and Who Ate My Hamster, who are my basically uh, administrators of the team. So I plan on doing basically some uh, At the roundabout, auditions the for the main team. If you guys want to be a part of the main team, requirements for a main team, you basically got to be cool, got to have a mic, got to be uh, not a, you know, stuck up, you know, snotty person. Be a cool person, be willing to play with us, do some stuff around. We're looking to try and get some more good members to do some team racing and stuff like that online. As so, as well as you get, must be good at uh, racing as well as drifting, because drifting is a big portion of our team. I totally lapped. I heard another car. I was like, "Am I gonna get caught up to somebody else?" So, those are a few requirements, and also you got, you know, like I said, you gotta have a mic. I will be opening up a Discord here very soon for team and club members or anybody that's affiliated with the channel or wants to be part of the Discord. I will be opening up my discord channel here soon so that everybody can be basically in communication with me ask me questions ask the team questions you know if you can't get a hold of me and you have a question about the team feel free to get a hold of virgin recall 24 or who ate my hamster and uh they can uh help you address any questions you guys got like i said i will be doing some open auditions here soon for the main team so if you guys want to be part of the main team make sure you guys are part of the club itself and then uh Good luck. You know, you can get a chance to be in part of the main team where we can do some online team racing and stuff and try to get up in tiers as well left. as we are trying to become some of the top spots in turn either left. danger signs, drift zones, stuff like that. I know Urgent cracked the 4,000 or 3,000 mark in a danger sign. I've cracked a couple in the thousands for some drift zones. So it's all in good fun. We just all have a lot of fun. So. I feel like we're just going to run this GTR. And uh, so we got 40 seconds left till the Forzathon starts. So uh, once it starts, we'll head to it. So uh, I'll see you guys when the Forzathon starts. I'm going to have a drink. And then uh, we'll get to the Forzathon live event here to finish off this episode. Live, starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! All right, Forzathon live gets to the speed trap. All right, well... We don't have a super fast car for the speed trap, but we do have a decently fast car. So, do you guys enjoy these Forzathon lives? Do you prefer the Forzathon lives, or do you prefer the original Forzathons that um, was in Horizon 3, where it was certain things? I know there's still certain challenges and stuff like that, but do you guys enjoy these live Forzathons to get points to where you can buy stuff from the Forzathon shop, or do you prefer the old style? Um, Forzathons. I mean, personally, I, the Forzathon Lives things are pretty cool. I don't mind them. Um, they're a bit different. It's kind of cool to be able to do them in groups. Um, I wish they gave you... Oh, man, that was a big tree. I wish they gave you a little more credit when you did complete them. Um, and it seems like I'm hitting every tree. It seems like it's just all about speed traps and speed zones and stuff like that. Uh, there's some drift zones and drift skills and stuff like that, but... I do enjoy it because it's uh, a friendly um, group together, so it is kind of cool. 
Oh, it's one of these speed traps. Did I miss it? Oh no, it's just a speed trap. A speed, uh, speed flag. So, move, buddy. Whoop, excuse me. 167, not the fastest. But, you know what? When you have everybody else running super high cars around these trees, that would have been sweet if I e-braked it around the trees. You know, it definitely helps out. So, I probably should be using my uh, Koenigsegg or something, but I believe the Koenigsegg is still set up for winter. And since we're already in this car, might as well use it. But unless it goes to a different type of um, zone, then we may have to change up our uh, car. If it goes to like a drift zone or something, we're going to have to definitely switch up cars. There we go. Of course I failed that. I'm not worried about that right now. I keep forgetting that they're going to be a ghost, so I'm never going to hit them. Which is kind of cool and kind of bad at the same time. I feel like this zone is over. There we go. And there it is, like I thought. A drift zone. So we're going to get to the drift zone. Unless it's off-road. We're probably going to be switching to one of our FD cars to tear this drift zone apart. And it looks like it's going to be dirt. Looks like one I haven't done yet. So, we'll try it first with GTR, and then we will probably switch it up to a uh, more suitable car for this. Probably something we will drive. Oh, this road reminds me of uh, Horizon 3 where I uh, broke my e-brake. If you guys don't remember that, it was a game of drift, dirt zones only, and I uh, snapped my old e-brake. And that's where the new e-brake came into play because of uh, snapping of the old one. So we're gonna have to switch up cars here for a minute. Good thing we have time. We're gonna change up cars. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm feeling. Probably the Holden Ute. Oh, wrong button. I've been doing pretty good in this FD Holden Ute, so we're gonna use that one today. <laughs> Come on. I just want to get sideways. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. Hold mute. There's my sound. Let's see if we can better our uh, better our drift scores here in that rear-wheel drive car. Oh boy, this is not an easy feat right now, but I feel like we're doing a lot better than we were with the GTR because this car is just breaking traction and staying sideways in a sense. Dirt drifting, definitely a hard thing. I really wish some of these dirt zones that are drift zones or pavement because it would make these zones so much nicer. I know 79 is probably not the best. It's probably not even like three stars. Turn around. But and it is safe to do so. for not knowing the zone, I'm okay with it. Group possession and drift zones. Group progression and drift zones are kind of slow going, I've noticed in these live events. Because it's really hard to just get a lot of points in a, in a quick amount of time because the zones are so long so it takes a while to get those points and when I'm going straight like that that does not help the group progression at all but at least I'm still able to get points on a wheel in the dirt and not completely lose control. I know a lot of people are still struggling on the wheels, but if you get used to it, it's really not that bad. It just takes a little bit more work. That dude's in a unicorn. He's got the right idea. Really high horsepower all-wheel drive probably is what a lot of people get these drift zones with, which is one thing I want to say I'm really sad about when it comes to the uh, level heights of drift zones and points totals. I see a lot of people in the really high points totals in the Viper, and I'm wondering if they've changed them to all-wheel drive, because I wish you could ch check it between rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive, like 
the highest rear wheel drive score and the highest all wheel drive scores because I would really like to know where I match with some people with just rear wheel drives. Because I know a lot of my buddies use only rear wheel drive and I'm just trying to manji as much as I can. They use all rear wheel drives and I know I have a higher score than some of them, but like I know a lot of people do drift zones with stupidly high powered all wheel drive cars, which kind of takes away from, you know, the fact of being a drift zone. But I mean, if you are one of those all wheel drive drifters, you know, do do you, you know, just not my cup of tea. I, I'd prefer to be rear wheel drive all the way for drift zones and not run all wheel drive. Hence why I switched up to the U instead of staying in the GTR, because I was very curious at what points I could get in rear wheel drive. And this thing just does not want to get any traction here in the in the muddy drift zone that is this live event. Whoops. Oh boy. I'm uh losing my uh losing my focus here. I need to uh get back on focus. Cause, but I believe we are almost done with this drift zone, luckily. Hopefully the last part of this Orzathon will be pretty easy, like another speed zone or something we can bang out really quick. I've actually never failed a uh, Orzathon live event, so I don't want to start now. There we go. That's a better, that's a better section through there. Somebody else rocking a whole mute. If this thing wasn't so big, I do love how the U handles. So, if for all those who have the FD car pack, what is your favorite FD car? Because uh, I'm very partial to this U, but I'm also partial to one of the S14s, that of Alec Honadale, but I seem to be, have more control of the U than any of the other ones I have. I think I'm just going to sit and wait because I feel like this zone is going to be over as soon as these guys finish it up. We'll see what our next final challenge is for this Forza Live. Dink, dink. Round two complete. Danger sign. All right. So we need a danger sign. So we're definitely going to have to change up cars because we are going to need as much speed as we can possibly get. So I feel like we are going to rock our Kona Zeg. Where are you? There you go. Kona Zeg. I believe it is on a winter tune almost, but you know what? I'm sure it'll be quite fast enough and handle quite good. So we gotta get to this danger sign wherever it is. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oof. Wanna we'll talk about power. There you go. I just love the way this car sounds. Oh, I see it now. So it's going to be coming off this road, so maybe being on a, a snow tune might help because uh, it's kind of meant for slipperiness and I feel like we're on mud, so hopefully we can uh, get some decent danger sign points here. Which way is it, which way is it for facing? Oh, it's facing this way. I don't think I've ever done this one. Oh, that's going to hurt. Turn left. Oh, I'm going to reset. Now, how do I get out of here? How do I get out of said water? I'm stuck. Recalculating route. Well, that's unfortunate. So, danger signs are definitely one of the most time-consuming parts of a Forza Thon, I think, because you really have to uh, find your way back up as fast as possible, and people are trying to hill climb here, and it's not working. I don't think I'm going to make it. So, I think we're going to have to go this way, find our way back up. I think this is the most time-consuming part about a Forza Thon, is trying to uh, 
find your way back up from a danger sign because you launch yourself so far that you have to make your way back but luckily I feel we should have this one no problem shift that in the third short shift that get as much traction as we can I don't think it counted and I don't think we can rewind can we probably not oh maybe we can I didn't know this was a thing. Because we missed it, we could rewind it. That would be sweet if you could just keep rewinding. And it counted. Oh, nope. Nope, nope. We're gonna rewind. Oh, oh, oh god. Totally missed that, but we're good anyways. I believe the event is pretty much over. So we will get our uh, points, I believe. As long round as... Yep, there we go. So round three is over. We got our fours and thumb points. So make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. We got three stars on that one. As always, like thank you guys for watching and all the support. Like, thank you guys for coming back all the time. So I will see you guys next time.